people care more about giving than receiving and I think we have to change it. I think that's good for the church. Give and you shall receive. But I don't think it's good for human beings. We have to learn how to, to really receive in order to give fully. So, you know, if I love thy neighbor as thyself, I think is why we have wars. We don't love ourselves, so how can I love my neighbor? It's insanity. If I go into a hosp hospice, I try to meditate. I'll just tell people, let's sit in silence. And I know their stress, and I know they're going through anxiety, but I do believe in physics and resonating energy. And I really feel if I could go into a meditative space and feel peace within myself, over time holding that peace for myself, they will go into a peaceful state. I really believe that's true. When someone's really frightened, it's mostly about loss. A loss of not seeing something, an incompletion of what they wanted to do in life. The bucket list, I'm not so big on the bucket list, you know. What's happening in the moment? You know, I don't have to, if I take 10 things I have to do, I'm already in future. What is the present fear in this moment? Can we identify one at a time and manage it? And that's the best way, I think, to do it. And because it, it usually is loss of not seeing or regretting. The regretting you, is hard to heal regretting late in your life. Don't regret anything. There's no regrets. I'm going to talk for, about age. Age is the greatest goddamn thing in the world. You live long enough, you don't give a shit about anything else. That's living. <laughs> That's my word on age. <laughs>